Season 5 has ended, but it's left a lot of question marks behind. Keep watching this video and dive into a lot of spoilers and new theories. We're continuing with all the things that are likely to happen in Season 6. If you haven't watched the previous video, please go and watch that one first. And then come and watch this one. If you're ready, let's deep dive into the details of Season 6. Before beginning, I want to announce that Season 6 is planned to be aired on the last months of 2024 or the beginning of 2025. This means we have a lot of time before the premiere of Season 6. That's all for the announcements. Now let's get started with the video. A big cliffhanger about the season finale is Cerise's dialogue. She says, We're going to see each other again, Marinette Dupon Shang. This is another part that confused fans a lot. Cerise used Shirui's laptop to hack into the mansion door and enter to witness the fight in the basement. With Gabriel finally being defeated and deceased, Cerise became the new holder of the Butterfly Miraculous and the new Hawkma because, well, she stole the Miraculous. And it's heavily implied that Cerise knows Marinette is Ladybug. If this is confirmed to be true in the future, then that makes her the ninth person to find out, behind Master Fu. However, having in consideration that she is applying to the same school that Marinette is going to for her 10th grade, it's possible that her last remark was because she does not know her secret identity, but instead because she's ready to enact her revenge on Marinette for ruining the reputation of her Lila Rossi persona, possibly now even seeing Marinette as her greatest rival, even more than Ladybug. Plus, in the episode Time Tagger, Nino's brother was akumatized, and he had no idea about the identity of the heroes. So that means Lila probably doesn't know Marinette's real secret identity. Marinette now has a huge heavy burden because of all the things that she knows. Marinette still remembers all the events before the use of the absolute power. Marinette decided to honor Gabriel's wish of never letting his son know the real villain that he was. It's pretty likely that Marinette told Master Su Han and Alia about Monarch's identity, as she is seen telling them how she was not able to find the Butterfly Miraculous after the battle. However, the truth is still being hidden from Adrian. This is not only shocking for Adrian, but also for Plog. The utter shock on Plog's face when he realized that not only is his holder's dad a monarch, but also that the Kwamis have been living in the same building as him without Plog even knowing? Plog and Marinette are sharing a huge secret from Adrian. If Adrian learns about it, it cannot be good. And this is where another scary theory opens the door. Cerise is ready to destroy Marinette's life. She's confessed this with her own mouth. Wouldn't it be just perfect if she started with the person that was closest to Marinette to do this? And that would be Adrian. There's no way that the writers will keep Adrian away from the ridiculous things that his father has done. We will see the confrontation of Gabriel and Adrian somehow in season six. Not only because Adrian needs to learn what Gabriel has done, but also to collect the missing parts of the aggressor they are by giving flashbacks. But how could this confrontation be carried out? It's Cerise. She will prove to Adrian that she's right about the truth that she's going to expose. The best proof that she has is her Kwagitama. A Kwagitama is a small charm that can be made by a Kwami. Kwamis give them to their miraculous holders on special occasions, such as their holders' birthdays and anniversaries. Cerise has all the information about the miraculous spellbook. She won't lose a chance to practice her dangerous plan. We discover that a miraculous holder, when touching their Kwagitama to the symbol of the Order of the Guardians, can summon and communicate with the previous holders in the form of ghostly apparitions. Adrian will find himself face to face with the spirits of his miraculous's past wielders. The echoes of history resonate with intensity, unraveling a tapestry of secret. And just when you think that things couldn't get any more intense, Lila emerges from the shadows, weaving her devious web to bring these two powerful forces together. The stage is set for the creation of the most formidable Akuma the world has ever seen. Since season two, Marinette has been having a lot of nightmares. First, it was Adrian falling in love with Chloe. Then it turned into Chat Blanc. Then it became when Shadima took her miraculous. And the last one is this, Adrian learning all the secrets that Marinette is hiding. Do you remember Marinette's nightmare in episode 26? When she tried to rescue Adrian from Gabriel, but she instead hurt Gabriel and destroyed him? Adrian accused her because of that. Now, the context will be changed, but the scene will still be the same. Adrian's going to ask why she's done this and why she hid her father's true identity. He thought that they trusted each other with everything, but he will definitely be shocked once he understands that she hid the most important thing of his life. He will definitely have some trust issues. This event could be the reason for their splitting up in the next season. During this grief, Plug could also reveal the fact that he knows everything as well. This is gonna be another shocking thing for Adrian. Meanwhile, 
While sensing the negative emotions, Cerise will be more than ready to akumatize Adrian. This means we're gonna have a new shot blanc on our hands, one who's out there and seeking the truth. After everyone left, Marinette and Adrian met up in the mansion's garden. Marinette put the twin rings to Adrian's finger. Marinette told Adrian to be himself, and Adrian said that he never felt so free before. Marinette knows everything about Adrian now, even that he's a senti monster. And this explains a lot. In Wishmaker, Adrian was really sad, because he didn't know what he wanted to be. The only thing he did was obey whatever his father told him to do. Adrian never thought modeling was truly his calling. Adrian just said that it was easier that way. He thought he would be happy doing what his father wanted of him. When Wishmaker released a shooting star, which hit Cat Noir, it caused him to remember his childhood dream. He then transformed into Adrian and declared that when he was a kid, he always wanted to be what his parents wanted him to be. So now, while hiding the secret from Adrian, I find this very bizarre. Marinette can help Adrian to find some new hobbies, which means we can see some new Adrianette moments with different hobbies and activities. But Marinette does need to be careful. She needs to let Adrian make his own path. The Sarugi family used to live in Japan, but then moved to Paris. We see Kagami first and Riposte had a duel with Adrian. However, from then, we don't know the extent of Tomo's blindness. She seems to be able to navigate the world just fine, as she doesn't rely on the same aids that real blind people really need. She does carry around a wooden sword at all times, but she doesn't use it in that way. So maybe Tomo has some vision, or maybe she has a problem different than regular blind people. What even was the point of Kagami's mom's involvement in helping Gabriel throughout season five if she wasn't even included in the wish like she wanted? What does she benefit from all this? This is still a big question mark, but I need to confess. I'm so disgusted with how Gabriel is being shown as a hero in the finale, and how Sarugi makes this big explanation for him. This is just too bad. Along with it, in the previous video, I explained that Gabriel's wish could have removed the damage from the Miraculous of the Peacock. If that was true, then Tsurugi would have healed because we know that Kagami is a sensi monster and probably that Tsurugi also had damage from the same miraculous. In Revolution, Chloe hid behind one of the nearby buildings and seized the opportunity to take the briefcase that Tomoe dropped. Back in her lair, she placed the stolen briefcase on top of a drawn map with the Agreste Mansion marked as the target. She grabbed a screwdriver and began working. So Cerise definitely knows about Tomoe's involvement in Gabriel's plan. Maybe another goal? will be to expose to Moe. That way, she'll hit two birds with one stone. Why? Because her daughter is also her friend, Kagami. In season five, we saw their fake friendship. Lila was using Kagami. Lila and Kagami's friendship is complicated. Cerise or Lila manipulate Kagami by lying about Marinette, leading to Kagami's akumatization. After being de-akumatized, Kagami confronts Lila, believing in Marinette's innocence but still wanting a genuine friendship with Lila. Lila claims that her friendship is genuine, but her smirk suggests otherwise. But why is Kagami's akumatization that important? Because Kagami knows who Ladybug is. It's revealed that Kagami discovered Marinette's identity as Ladybug after eavesdropping on her conversation with Alia in perfection. After it was clear that they would need Ladybug's help, Kagami told Felix about it as well. Felix and Kagami used the power of their senti monster, once upon a time, to put on a play about Felix's life to tell Marinette why he betrayed Ladybug and why he and Kagami needed her help. In the episode Revelation, Lila ordered Napoli, who was under her control, to send all the secrets that they've been hiding. Also, in the episode Confirmation, Ladybug reviews the objects in Napoli's room. She found the translated spellbook and the picture that shows each of the miraculous holders. This is all information that Lila already has. Cerise, or Lila in the catacombs, has a map to make logic to discover who exactly is who. She uses this tactic for Gabriel, and it works really well. So by having all the Miraculous Holder's identities, she can do some critical thinking, and thus she can discover Marinette's secret identity. It can't be a coincidence that in her previous class, everyone got a Miraculous, even including Chloe. Everyone except two people, Adrian and Marinette. This is a huge point for Cerise, who could make everything change. Along with discovering the secret identity of Ladybug, she could also trap each Miraculous Holder individually and obtain the Miraculous once again, just like Gabriel. I want to talk about Adrian again. In the previous video, I told you that he could learn more about his dad because of Lila, and that would be huge chaos. This discovery could lead both sides to break up, which means because of the sadness, both sides could be akumatized but I find Adrian getting akumatized much more likely. There are two ways this could happen. In presentation, Adrian understands how important it is to not be akumatized. Otherwise, 
he could have killed Ladybug. So in order to not be the target of Lila or Cerise, Adrian can give up on his powers for a little bit. So his akumatization won't be as dangerous as if he was akumatized with the Miraculous on. However, if he does get akumatized with the Cat Miraculous, now that would end very badly. In this case, like Shot Blanc, the only way to remove Adrian's Akuma was by showing love. Plus, he knew the secret identity of Marinette in the deleted timeline. So this case could lead to the reveal of Marinette's identity in order to show her love for Adrian. Also, this reveal could mean that she trusts him and shares her biggest secret. Of course, these are some of the least possible solutions. There's an interesting scene in season five that made me question Chloe's appearance in season six. In the episode Revolution, in their private jet bound for New York, Audrey reprimanded her daughter Chloe for losing all her power and ruining the family's reputation and vowed to take control of her life and education. I guess it looks like Chloe won't be appearing in season six. Even though she's a horrible person, I'd kind of like to see her again. Furthermore, could Audrey's words be evidence for Chloe being a senti monster? We've already talked about the possibility of Chloe being a senti monster, and I'll say the reasoning again. We've seen a picture in Natalie's room reveal that Audrey and Andre Bourgeois Chloe's parents were actually in business with Gabriel and Emily. They were seen celebrating something, and it could be the discovery of the Peacock Miraculous. Since Audrey can have children from Mr. Lee, and we know this thanks to Zoe, who appeared in season four, it is possible that Andre could be infertile. So it's possible that they may have used the same method to create Chloe. If Andre was infertile, this would provide a potential motivation for the creation of a child through alternative means. Chloe's abrasive and selfish attitude could also be attributed to her senti monster status. Senti monsters are known to have personalities that reflect the creator's desires and emotions. So it's possible that Chloe was created to embody Audrey's desire for power and control. Audrey is a bossy and demanding woman who only accepts what she wants and is exceptional. She is considered to be the harshest fashion critic in the world, and she has no problem causing a fuss for those who do not meet her demands. Like her daughter, Audrey has a fierce, explosive temper and will get upset over minor things, such as being denied a front row seat. She will also attempt to fire anyone who displeases her. This would explain why Chloe is so self-centered and manipulative and why she constantly seeks attention and admiration from others. Like Adrian, Chloe could have been created with certain traits and abilities that make her more susceptible to being influenced by the negative emotions of others. This could contribute to her being selfish and her egotistical behavior. Audrey is also a person that underestimates her husband. Audrey is a demanding wife towards her husband, constantly ordering him to do various tasks for herself. She's not kind to him. She's more like his boss. Could this be because she's bitter that she needed to use the broken peacock miraculous to create Chloe because of Andre? Another thing to consider is Chloe's teddy bear. As assumed from Chloe's memories, Mr. Cuddly was given to Chloe by her father when she was small, and it was a companion that helped her get through all her sad moments in her childhood. Since Andre left Chloe, Andre wanted his daughter to be happy. He could have given her the Amic object to remind her of one of her creators. In this case, her mom, Audrey. I know that in the episode Despair Bear, the teddy bear's feathers separated, but Maybe the Amok Feather is in the head of the teddy bear. Or maybe her Senti Monster object is different. But if she's still a Senti Monster, who knows? There's another thing I want to point out. In the last few minutes of the season finale, while Mr. Damocles was setting up his new office as the high school principal, he received a call from an anonymous source inquiring about the attendees of the school. And Damocles agreed to see the new student later. Cerise, contacting the principal from the catacombs, is looking forward to Marinette. We'll get to see Cerise with a new disguise. But what could her plan be? I think I might have an answer for that. Instead of directly announcing her battle with Marinette, Cerise is going to try to be nice to Marinette. She'll try to take Alia's place as Marinette's best friend, because this time, she's going to be the one closest to Marinette, and will try manipulating Alia so she can get her akumatized, just like she did with Kagami. And as you know, Alia getting akumatized is a super dangerous thing, because since season four, she knows Marinette's secret identity. But getting closer to Marinette it's not just advantageous in the aspect of akumatizing Alia, but also Cerise can break Adrian and Marinette up by creating lies. Furthermore, she can visit Marinette's house and learn her secret identity. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. What do you guys think of all these possibilities? Please let me know in the comments down below. I read all of them. I will see you in the next video.